Hey everybody, Hickok45. We decided to kick off the new year, 2011, by bringing out one of my favorite firearms. And I think it's one of your favorites too, for many of you. Let's pull it out of this case and take a look at it. Oh yes, look at that. You've seen that before. Oh, what a beauty. Oh, it's a 1911, huh? Okay, so uh, the year now is 2011. I wonder why we have this one out. It's New Year's Day 2011 and we got out a gun made in 1911. I bet you, well wait a minute, y'all do the math. Y'all do the math. I bet you can determine why we've got this gun out. I think it's the anniversary of this old war horse and you might see quite a bit of uh, 1911 action this year in celebration of the year, the anniversary. We thought we would not waste any time and on the very first day of the year, oh, give you a good look at this old war horse once again. We've never really done uh, a video with it. We've you've seen it a couple, I think, but uh, we just have been negligent. So this is no year to be negligent with something like this. It is 2011 and it is the anniversary of the 1911 for those of you who have been in a cave somewhere and didn't know that. Now I won't be too hard on you because we have a lot of new shooters out there, people just getting into firearms. In the year 1973, when I was really just getting into firearms on my own in a big way, uh, was out of school and, and that kind of thing, I probably couldn't have told you what was significant about the year 1973 you know that was the anniversary of course so many things that came out in 1873 the Colt single action one of my very favorite firearms you know and the cartridges that came out that year you know I have a video on that 1873 history and I couldn't have told you that much about it at the time so I can't be too hard on you folks uh, as wonders we do a lot of these videos is to help uh, provide a little education not necessarily in-depth uh, education but uh, to get you familiar with some of the more popular firearms and you know how they work and how they shoot and what they're capable of doing so uh, anyway this is a big year for the 1911 and again for those of you who don't know that is a classic 1911 firearm it's the semi-automatic 45 ACP shoots the big fat bullet uh, in case you haven't even seen but a couple of our videos you may not even know uh, it fires a 45 caliber ACP, automatic Colt pistol, uh, was adopted, used by our military in the United States from 1911 until, uh, what, about 86, 1986, I guess, when we switched over to the uh, Beretta. Okay, so I've gone through some of that in other videos, but uh, that's what this is. 1911 comes in so many different configurations and customizations and different beaver tails and hammers and all sorts of things. One of the most popular guns on the planet. So we won't get into which is better. There's been a, about a thousand articles written on which is better, a Glock or a 1911 or an XD or a 1911 or you know whatever. Uh, they all have their place and it doesn't really matter whether you enjoy these and would want to carry one or use it. Uh, it is such a piece of history. You, you can't help but respect it. Uh, particularly if you're United States citizen, I guess. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to shoot it. Now this one, as I point out in my, uh, uh, we did a close-up of this. I think that's about the only video we've done really featuring just this gun. I, I mentioned how this one was brought back from a, a fellow who served in World War II in the Pacific Theater. And uh, that's why he, he uh, scratched off the, uh, you know, he was really concerned that he shouldn't have brought it home. He might be in trouble. And he tried to scratch off there where it, it says U.S. property and that kind of thing. And and he got in really bad health and another fellow had to sell his guns for him and all that and I kind of lucked into it and was glad to help him out you know got a pretty good deal on it you know and wasn't really planning to buy one of these but I, I couldn't pass it up and uh, I'm really glad to have it doesn't bother me that's got a scratch or two on it because I like to shoot these guns anyway so that's what we're gonna do mainly we're gonna break in the new year just by shooting this baby now it's got a rough trigger and it's got the hump mainspring housing which I don't like it's got the short trigger which I don't prefer uh, horrible sights as far as you know target shooting but they do okay and if I think of more excuses I'll, I'll pass those along too but the trigger is the big thing I mean it really is so especially after you've been shooting the Ed Brown a little bit but we're gonna play with it anyway 
I've got some really good excuses for missing, and it doesn't matter. I've got a bunch of my old magazines out here, uh, all but a couple of them I really have some age on them. Uh, so we're not going to worry about malfunctions, that's for sure. Uh, there's probably some springs in there that are, are uh, need replacing. Uh, I don't compete anymore with 1911s, and so I don't really worry about it. I just got a hodgepodge of, of magazines. I just dragged them out. I found most of them. I have I, some others in guns, but I didn't uh, rob all those. But we have enough to play with. Uh, start out, these, and plus these are my hand loads and with unsorted brass. We've got some factory ammo. I'm trying to avoid shooting too much of that. We've been shooting so much expensive ammo lately. These are some of my hand loads and jacketed. 230 grain. Uh, so we're going to shoot some cast bullets first. And uh, like I said, if we get a hang up or two on some of my old brass or who knows what, I it doesn't really matter. We we'll just keep on shooting and honor this old baby. Uh, hopefully, if I can hit anything. So again, we have a variety of targets and we got the old trunk set up there on end. Let's start with something large. Watch me miss it. <laughs> oh, nice. Let me grab, I'll tell you what, let me do, let me, uh, we're not going to do an Ipsic match here or anything, but let me put some of these magazines in my uh, mag pouches. I remember to put some of those on today, because you don't get as many shots with a 1911. So, uh, that'll help a little bit. Let's pound that thing a little more. <laughs> nice. There you go. Now there's what you get with a 1911 if the spring is weak in the magazine. We got one nose up there kind of. Uh, and yeah, there he is. Uh, first sign of especially shooting heavy bullets is usually the, the last round in the magazine indicates that the round is a little, uh, or the magazine springs a little bit weak. And uh, like I said, we don't care. We'll just top that one off. Safety on. Put another one in. Uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's just go on out and see if we can hear some big steel ring at the gong. See if I can control this 21 pound trigger enough to, to hit it. I couldn't believe I was hitting it. Okay. All right. So, she's pretty well. Love it. Love it. Forgot I have some on me here. Let's find some Kool Aid. Okay, settle down, Peacock. There we go. Okay, now so I'm flinching. I'm having to pull so hard on that trigger. <laughs> Shooting a trigger like this is good training, though, I'll tell you. Paper target. Big old bullets. Big old bullets. Okay. Sweet. Oh, that magazine is stiff. Didn't want to go in. Uh, let's go across a hill. 
we'll try an animal or two. I don't know how how well I shoot this thing trying to be a precision uh, shot today. Not bad, that gun's got a little age on it. Uh, you know, if you can control the trigger and hold him on there and uh, get a sight picture. Not bad for a gun that old. Let's see, made in the early 40s. So, uh, 60, 70 years old. Go pig hunting. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's especially fun shooting a gun that has a lot of history to it. Let me uh, put these over here in my pouches. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I'm shooting, I get to shooting too fast, don't I? Let's take our time and get that last turkey. There we go. There you go. There's another magazine with a weak spring. Ugh. It uh, got around. See, it's uh, trying to shoot out the top. That's generally what that is. Or it could be a bad brass. Who knows? It doesn't matter. All right, hey, well, let's do. Let's switch over here now, and let's shoot a few, uh, few jacketed rounds. Got to load up a few out of the mess kit here, okay? And uh, we will. Uh, we'll just throw a few more here. We're not going to shoot a thousand rounds out of this thing. This is not a gun test video, of course. Just want to have a little fun with it and shoot it enough to honor it on this. First day of 2011. If, by the way, you don't have a 1911, you've always been fascinated by them, get to a gun shop. Get to a gun show. See if you can find one you like that doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. There are some brands out there that are not too awfully expensive. Uh, and I know they tend to be expensive. Uh, there's just a lot of parts there and it's hard to make them. I think on a, on a dime, but uh, there are quite a few out there. I know Springfield has a new one out that uh, I think is supposed to be a, kind of a budget gun, but yet it has a lot of bells and whistles that you want. And uh, just look around some. You generally get what you pay for, unless you're paying for one of the anniversary models or something. You know, I, I probably am not that interested in those. Uh, I have that replica and some nice ones. and. It, I wouldn't want to buy one that was so expensive. I feel like I couldn't shoot it. It would just need to hide in a safe or something. I wouldn't enjoy that as much. So I'm, I'm going to shoot anything I have. So uh, I'm probably not interested in most of the anniversary models I've seen. The engraving and all that kind of thing. So let's just shoot a few more here. All right, the jacket and ammo is kind of what they were designed to shoot. 230 grain ball. All right, so let's just take a few shots here. Pretty nice. Not bad for an antique. You didn't have a firearm for defense, 
at your bedside, you could uh, do worse than this, couldn't you? So I think we've broken the new year in just right. Not only in 1911, but well, I don't know about an original 1911, but one that was made in the 40s, used in, carried in World War II. Uh, does get much better than that. So just wanted to celebrate the new year because it is a big year for this design. And uh, I hope you celebrate it too. We'll take every opportunity we can this year to, uh, to celebrate it again. So don't you love that old thing? Look how dirty and dusty and not dusty, but uh, all the carbon deposits. Love to get them all dirty and then clean them up again. So functions pretty well for an old gun like that. The only problem we had with magazine springs. So life's really good.